All right, I'm here with Atlantic Shores head football coach Wayne Lance after his team's 48 nothing shutout of Isla White Academy to open up the 2024 season. Coach, football's back, and you have to like what you saw tonight. Pretty satisfying defense pitches a shutout. Special teams made some plays, including a block punt, and then your son, the quarterback, Micah, throws five TDs to five different receivers and has no picks. So, all in all, you give it a good grade? Yeah, I'll give it a good grade. It's always great, especially, I can't believe this is still August weather, but, uh, you know, good to get in, get a lot of guys some experience in this environment. So, uh, couldn't be happier. We spoke a few weeks back on our, our podcast uh, with Chris Higgins, our women Mary commit, and he made a couple of nice catches tonight. Um, just speak on what he's meant. I mean, he's a senior now in your program, but what he's meant to your squad and just watching his development these last couple of years, how, how much of a joy it's been for you. I think it's been fun to watch. You know, He uh, he texted me last night um, a memory of our state championship year and a scrimmage here against St. Anne's Belfield and just how he can't believe you know, four years now has passed and he's gotten some great experience. So it's kind of made me think back about a lot of these guys, but, you know, continuing to see that skinny, skinny basketball guy come out and uh, continue to make plays and grow and develop and fall in love with the weight room. Uh, it's been, it's been pretty cool. I know when you came to this place several years back that one of the things that was, uh, a big emphasis was getting guys to come back, build a culture, and identity, and to have guys like we were watching tonight, Caden Beatty, former standout now at Kent State, Brandon Peterson, others watch and tune into your games and still, you know, wear the Atlantic Shores colors and, and represent the school with pride. How much does that mean to you? Because that's when Higgins goes off to William Mary and you have these guys behind them, they want to be the next, whatever that yeah. name is, right? Yeah, actually, I was talking to a couple of those guys and got a bunch of texts today, and I think it's cool to go back and maybe show their highlights in the summertime so other guys can – can respect and see we had a few guys on the sideline tonight it, it's pretty awesome to see the community and the fans that we have who continue to come out but then the, the former players who love coming back and they they kind of know what's what's happening they're they're in touch they're in tune they they know the grind that mm -hmm. that is shores football so you know it's always encouraging uh to get those text messages and hear from them and, and connect with how they're doing in college too for you what year is this overall what year is this for you at shores this is 29 overall and 18 at shores okay. so uh, i'm the gray hair is earned what keeps the grind and the, and the wheels turning for you and the fire burning what keeps it i love people uh, i love doing this football is an awesome game allows me to teach life lessons and teach people about things that are bigger than life mm -hmm. but everything kind of goes into a microcosm of the game there there are lessons to be learned and a lot of those guys who've gone on end up being businessmen they all end up being fathers they all end up being husbands they all end up you know working and giving giving uh to the grind of life and uh hopefully they're better people for having come through what's in front of this team i know you didn't make the playoffs last year and that championship push but what do you like about this team and what i know it's hard to say after game one but what must this team do and get better at to achieve some of the goals and things on the checklist uh i like I like where we are coming out of the summer. Um, you know, we, we travel a little bit and go to seven on sevens and, you know, we'll, we'll play and match some very, very good teams, but you never know until the line gets involved. And that's, that's real football. Um, so it's great to play, play uh, in, in your underwear, essentially, uh, with all the tights and spandex, everything. And, but, but then to see guys begin to put things together. And I think it's just, it becomes so cliche. You know, I was listening to your podcast a couple weeks ago and talking about all those things that coaches will say, and it is what it is. And really, you're not saying anything, but uh, just continued growth on a day to day basis. You know, you can say the it's one and oh every week, but um, learning from your mistakes, building on, getting stronger, and continuing to mature through and, and watching players develop and mature. We got a lot of young guys who probably when they came out thought, I'll get run over. And yeah. and they came out and were, were going up against another team's uh, ones and, uh, you know, putting their noses in there and, and, and not showing that they're willing to let down, that they want to be the next ones to take up the mantra. And lastly, the schedule's going to be another challenging one for you. You've still got Roanoke Catholic coming up next week. Catholic and the North Cross is a team you want to get some payback with Blue Ridge as well. Um, for this group, uh, do you feel like there's a different level of, of maybe hunger and passion after what happened last year, not kind of fulfilling some of the things you wanted to do? Yeah, uh, and I, I think the guys driving it, like, for example, we have a lot of skill guys returning on offense. Basically, our entire starting group from last year is back. And then we have a couple other guys, um, Christian Franks, Campbell Clark, uh, a couple other guys showing. And then you have Zeke Madrano on the line, who's kind of him and Travion Morgan were starters last year, kind of gluing that group together and flip around on defense. And yeah, I, I really think sometimes that um, it's really cool to watch guys who play both ways. You know, looking at, at Chris, for example, who is an outstanding receiver, but he's going to play defense in college. And you realize that having the flexibility to go both ways really shows a lot on film. So it, it's just a 
continual maturity of a team, a group coming together and playing for each other and not for themselves. And uh, you know, hopefully we can see where we go because it, it continues to get harder week by week. And uh, then you get to reset it and go zero and zero before the playoffs if you can get in. And it's it's a tough year. There's a lot of great teams and a lot of kids have, you know, some programs have shut down and kids have matriculated to other places. So those, those, those schools are up and uh, it, it'll be a tough road. Always better start 1-0 than 0-1. Come check out Coach Lance and the Seahawks. Thank you so much. We'll see you All soon. Right. See you next week.